Adding motion to your still images can help captivate your audience. Take a look at this photograph. Even if the content is interesting, the presentation is dull. It doesn't feel quite as compelling as it does when it's in motion like this. This is the difference between using a still photo and the Ken Burns effect. The effect is one of the most popular effects to this day. So why did Apple choose to hide the effect in Final Cut Pro X? Here's how to find the Ken Burns effect. First, select the photo that you want to add the effect to. Then bring it in the timeline. You'll want to make sure the photo is selected. The yellow highlight bar will be showing. Now most normal video effects in Final Cut Pro X appear in this effects window down here. However, the Ken Burns effect is located elsewhere. It's kind of hidden, it's strange as to why they do this, but they consider it part of cropping. Once the clip is selected, press the square transform box here. This opens up a small submenu with transform, crop, and distort options. Select the crop option to unveil the Ken Burns effect function. Within the Ken Burns effect window, we have a few options. You'll notice that there are two boxes, a green start box and a red end box. Clicking within the boxes will select them. You can resize them here. Once you have everything sized, you should notice that there's a button up here to invert your selection. Clicking them swaps the start and end points. Right clicking allows you to open up a sub menu, which allows you to choose the smoothness of the transition. Select ease in and out for a smooth intro and outro. Once you're done, click done and the effect will have been processed. You can go to the beginning and play it through. And voila, we have the Ken Burns effect implemented in Final Cut Pro X.